Welcome sa sip9.com Ito na yung pangatlong video natin on a series of video on um, least common multiples. No? So, doon sa unang video ay pinag-aralan natin kung paano kunin yung LCM or the least common multiple of two numbers by listing. Uh, tapos yung sa pangalawang video natin ay by uh, division. No? So, dito ay magbibigay pa ako na another example. And then, kung paano siya ina-apply. No? For example, meron tayong problem na uh, one-fourth plus one-sixth plus five over eight, for example. So, here, no? kukunin natin yung LCM ng tatlong to. No? So, we have four, six, and eight, no? Para makuha natin yung LCM, again, maghahanap tayo ng pinakamaliit na prime number na i-divide dito sa mga ito. No? And ang, I think, most obvious is the is 2. No? So, pwede natin i-divide by 2. So, 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. Again, wala pa tayong, hindi pa tayo tapos kasi meron pa tayong number na hindi uh, prime. No? And we can divide 4 and 2 by 2. No? So we have 2 divided by 2 is 1. 3 divided by 2 cannot be. No? From the previous video, sabi natin, pag hindi natin tayo pwede mag-divide, we just bring down or we just keep the number as is. No? So just bring down 3 here. Hindi natin babaguhin. And then 4 times 2 is 2. Or 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, pag wala na tayong pwede i-divide, usually ang matitira niyan dito prime numbers. We can now multiply all the numbers here. No? Nasa labas. So, we have uh, 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is 12, times 2 is 24. Ibig sabihin, yung LCM, the LCM of... 4, 6, and 8 is 24. No? Now, ano pagkakaibay ng LCM at LCD? Diba? Narinig nyo na yung LCD. Yung LCD, ang pinag-uusapan natin fractions. So, ang LCD ng 1 fourth, 1 6, at 1 8, at 5 8, sorry, ay 24. Pero ang LCM, pinag-uusapan na natin yung numbers dito. Yung namin ito sa baba. Kaya siya LCD or pag LCD, least common, least common, denominator. So, pareho lang actually sila. Pero pag denominator, syempre pag may denominator, fraction yung pinag-uusapan natin. Pag LCM, pwedeng numbers lang, pwedeng hindi fraction. Okay? So, so ngayon, pag nakuha mo na yung, ano, yung kanyang LCM, pwede mo na i-add itong dissimilar fractions na ito, magiging 24 na yung kanila. Um, lahat, magiging 24 na yung kanilang denominator. Kasi, pag tayo nag-add ng fractions, kaya natin ginukuha yung LCM para maging sim similar or the same yung kanilang denominator, which means that they are similar fractions. So, para lang makuha natin yung idea, ay solve na lang natin to, no? So, 12 divided by 4, is 6 times 1 is 6. So, yung 1 fourth ay equivalent just as 6 24. And then we have 24 divided by 6. We have 4 times 1 and then the product is 4. Lastly, we have 24 divided by 8. That's 3 times 5 is 15. So, pag pare-pareho na sila ng uh, denominator, pwede na natin i-add yun na sa taas, no? Tignan nyo yung ating video on addition of fractions, no? addition of dissimilar fractions. Ganito yung ginagawa natin. So that is 25 over 24. Okay, so huling paalala, no? pag meron pang dalawang numbers na pwede pang i-divide, ay pwede pa tayo mag-divide. No? Kaso kung wala na, saka lang tayo hihinto para makuha natin yung pinaka LCM. Okay, maraming salamat. Gusto ko kayong imbatahan sa sip9.com, nandito yung listahan ng ating mga videos. Diyan kompleto, diyan, tsaka sunod-sunod, kaya mas maganda kung makita nyo. 
And of course, kung kayo ay nasa YouTube, pwede kayo mag-subscribe sa ating YouTube channel. Just click the uh, subscribe button doon sa baba ng video na to. Maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial.